Hey guys, so I just filmed my April favorites. It's uploading right now. So if you want to go see that, I'll have a link for it down below for you guys. But this is Koali's one month update. Today he is one month. It is the 27th of April. Yes, it's the 27th of April. I thought we were in March for a second. Um, we got him on April 20 or March 27th and it's now a month later. Clearly, I think you understand. Everything I'm talking about is going to be listed down below and I'm also going to be doing a blog post because there are some other things in his cage um, that are his absolute favorites as well. I just wanted to film this video because I want to be able to get as much information out as I can about chinchillas because there's not a whole lot. I mean, I know you can like look up and read a bunch of blogs, but I personally like to watch um, videos and stuff like that. So I think it would be perfect for people who like to watch videos about things and there's not a whole lot of that out there and it's really freaking cold debating on whether I should just close that or not but I'm I'm not going to okay so I have a bunch of his favorites around me that I could physically show you guys and then I'm gonna have to take pictures of the other things in his cage because I'm not gonna get them out because they're probably um, they're gonna need wash today is his um, cage cleaning day too so it's not clean yet um, so I'm gonna have to do that as well and then I will show you when his cage is all perfectly clean um, his cage and stuff but I will have the name of his cage that we currently have for him listed down below um, but I'm wanting to get a new cage but I'll probably have to wait for a while on that just because this one's kind of getting a little wonky um, but you know it's working for right now and I'll give you some more pictures and stuff because there's platforms and things like that um, but yeah, I'll have the name of it listed down below. It's actually a ferret one, but it also works for chinchillas. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing, his favorite food um, is Sensations Chinchilla Formula. This has probiotics and DHA omega-3. There's no artificial colors or preservatives. It's high diversity formula. And you get about two pounds of food for five dollars, which is a really good amount. And half of the bag has lasted us for a month. Um, so I think this is going to be good for two months. Um, five dollars isn't that bad at all. And he really seems to like it. There's nothing, he's like, there's not a single piece in here that he won't eat. There's like Timothy Hay in here. There's little round, um, pellets. There's just the normal pellets. There's like these crunchy little berry looking things in here sometimes. Um, those are his favorite. And then there's just some little pieces of crunchy things here and there. But it's just pretty much high fiber. He hasn't gotten any bigger. He's developed an attitude though. That's why I'm not, I don't have him out right now to show you um, because he's just like, don't mess with me. <laughs> um, but he's so cute. He loves playing with Gizmo, but currently Gizmo does not feel good today. So he's laying on the bed and he was already in my April favorites video, favorites video and he doesn't really want to be in another. His favorite treats, I know we just purchased these literally like a couple of days ago. Um, we either purchased them, we purchased them on Saturday, so it's Monday now, so it's been two days, and he's eaten, like, three of them so far, but that's only because I'm only typically going to give him, like, two treats a day, but we promised him we were going to get him a ball, and we went to the store, and they didn't have the size, so we had to order it online, so it won't be here until the 30th, um, so... We found these treats and we kind of spoiled him a little bit, but we're not going to give him that many treats. Um, but these are the KT Fiesta yogurt dipped treats in banana flavoring. Um, these were like $6 for this little bag. Um, they have vitamin C in them. Uh, so... You know, just don't feed them, like, a whole bunch of these treats, like, every day. Just give them, like, a couple at the most. Um, they have, there's, like, ground oats in here. And I don't know, they're really crunchy. Um, and Gizmo actually ate one. So I'm not sure if that's why he's sick or not. It's probably not. Um, but, because he's been acting funky, like, all week. Um, so, anyways... He likes those. He really, really likes them. If you just have one in your hand, he'll pretty much just walk up to you and take it. So he really, really likes that. Um, his favorite bath stuff is not that it's his favorite necessarily, but he loves taking a bath. Like whenever I, I was just getting it out um, to show you guys, I have it. I've had it sitting up on our dresser because I was meaning to put it back under our bathroom kitchen or our bathroom counter. 
and I was like, you know what, tomorrow he's going to get a bath, so I'm just going to leave it out, plus I want to do this video, so I'm just leaving it out. This can actually be put away after this, but anyway, this is the Oxbow Hoof Blue Cloud Tintilla Dust Bath. It's all natural, 100% blue cloud dust, which is what they need to bath in. Um, they can't be bathed in water because they could have, like, rotting to their fur, what's that called, like, rot fur, or something like that. If you, if you look it up, um, they will let you know, but their fur will start to rot because their fur, there's so much fur, um, that it won't dry properly. So he just, it's so cute to see him roll around in this in his little bathhouse, and I'll show you that in a second. But this whole container um, is two and a half pounds, and you only need two scoops. It comes with a little scoop in here, and you only need about, yeah, not about, you literally need two scoops of this size, and there's something in my mouth. And then you're good to go. And the dust just looks like concrete dust. I mean, I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. It smells very, very dusty. Um, it doesn't smell like cute or anything. <laughs> um, but you know, it's so cute to see him. If I can screw this on. It's so cute to see him roll around in his little bathhouse. Um, the one that they, the bathhouse they were selling at our pet land, um, was this one, but they have several others. They have a ceramic one, and you can find a whole bunch, but this is the one that we use. I like this one because it's a little bit larger than the other ones that I had seen online. Um, so this is just a green one, and I believe this is by Super Pet. Again, everything will be listed down below. And this is just a green one. I've seen it in pink, I think blue or purple, or both. Um, and then they also had a yellow one. There's probably other colors as well, but I really like this one because, as you can see here, it's nice and rounded. It also attaches to the... I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's these little things here. It attaches to the um, cage so that he can roll around, um, and it won't, like, move all around the plate, all around his cage. Um, and, yeah, you only need about an inch of dust, and it's, if you can see right there, it's about an inch when it is, like, laying flat. So when I store this, I just um, set it upright like this underneath our kitchen counter, and that's all we do in the cabinets. And that's all we do and he really likes that and it gets done once a week he gets a bath but if yours um, chinchilla tends to get more oily and you can really tell because the fur around his neck really start to separate more even when he's just normally sitting not if he's like you know what I mean so um, if he's just normally sitting and his fur around his neck is starting to separate that means he's getting dirty and if it's just like all the time give him another bath you can do baths every single day if you wanted to but there's really not a need just if his fur is separating a lot then that's when you're going to want to give him a bath um and then when you give him a bath also this is a, t a, s a tip i was trying to say test or something i don't know what i'm talking about this is a tip so I'm trying to get it because it's on top. Okay, so just use an old bed sheet or an old blanket even. Just make sure it covers the entire cage. His cage is 24 by 24 inches or something like that. I'm not sure. No, it's not 24 inches. I don't know. I really think the thing is like three feet tall. But anyway, it's very, it's a really big cage, and you'll see in the blog post if you're interested. Um, and so we just have an old bed sheet that we're not going to use anymore. Um, and really, you don't have to use an old bed sheet because it's just dust, and you're just keeping the dust inside of his cage, so you can wash this and you're still good to go. We just haven't really needed to change our sheets yet, so we are good. Um, so that's what we do when he takes a bath, and I pretty much leave it on the entire day because while he's jumping around and everything onto his ledges and everything, dust is going everywhere. You're going to be sneezing all day long because of the dust. So that's one thing. There's a tip. is just to probably leave it on probably the rest of the day that he's taken his bath. I mean, you know, you can take it off if you want to. I would say at least leave it on for six hours after he's taken his bath, though, because there is still a lot of loose dust on him. And there will still be a lot of loose dust on him throughout the rest of the week, um, but not as much as the first time when he gets a bath. So just an old blanket or bed sheet or something you don't want to use or something you don't mind that gets dirty with dust and you can just wash. Anything like that, that's perfect. So we just have a bed sheet. Um, so he's got several other little toys in his cage, but this is the only one that I was able to show you guys because I still have the packaging left. Um... And I didn't have to take it out because some things are attached in there and it's just kind of a hassle for me to take it out. So that will all be featured in the blog post. I know I keep saying this, but blog post, check it out. It's going to have a lot of information about about Quali. 
Um, so these are the KT Chili Chews Mineral Treats. And um, these retail for like three bucks. And you get three of them. This one he's already chewed on because my boyfriend thought maybe we should change it up every week. And I don't want to do that. So anyways, it came, this one is, at least I think, um, it comes in the flavors of chili vanilla, cabana banana, and, a pol or, and um, stupendous strawberry. So this one I think is strawberry because it has a pink top. As you can see, he has to this. It looked more of a, an, I mean, it still looks like an ice cream cone, but it has little teeth marks all over it. It just looks like a, you know, more detailed uh, ice cream cone when you first get it. Um, the one, he's eaten the chili vanilla already, and that took him about two weeks, I would say. Um, and then he hasn't really touched too much of his banana one, or the one that's in there right now, which looks like a chocolate ice cream. Um, so he has touched it, but not as much. And this one he really seemed to like, so I'm thinking about switching it back, because maybe he just doesn't like that one. I don't know. But these he really, really enjoys, and this will pro this whole can this whole thing will probably last you about a month and a half to two months, maybe, depending on how much your chinchilla does like to chew on the min mineral treats. Another place he likes to there we have one ramp in there. Um, our cage came with two other ramps. I have both of them right here, but they look like this. And he really likes to use the one ramp. The way we set it up, these ramps didn't really make sense. Like, they weren't touching. When you put it on the top layer and then put it onto the second thing, it wouldn't touch. It would just be, like, hanging there. So he wouldn't really like it. So we just have one that works in there. Um, but he really likes to sit on his ramp and, like, sit in between the wall and his ramp. So that's cute. And then if you are um, using the paper bedding for your chinchilla and your chinchilla doesn't throw out your, like, the little bedding pieces because Kuali threw his out all the time. So we had switched his bedding. And you'll learn more about that in the blog post if you check it out. Um, but we use the Care Carefresh. I'm not sure what it was called, but we had green... Um, that's what the color was, but you can get it in white or brown, I think. Or there's pink, purple, and green. There might have been blue, too. I don't know. But we put it in there, and he would just throw it out. But the easiest way I found to clean up that is to just get two bags, two, like, shopping bags. Use one as, like, a glove, unless you have gloves you want to use. And then just dump it into the other one, and then just throw away your bag. And you'll just need like the regular size shopping bag. You don't need one of the jumbo size ones because um, you don't need that much. You only need about an inch of bedding if that's what you do. Well, what we have done is we went to Joanne Fabrics and bought a yard of fabric and just put it on the bottom and that works a lot better. We do need to buy some rocks or not rocks. I mean, I guess I could go find rocks if that's not going to be a problem in there to weigh down the four corners because he does like to kind of scratch it up and I didn't know he was going to do that. Um, so maybe he's just rolling. I don't know. But it all gets bunched up to the middle. Um, so I have his bowl in one of the corners so that that won't move up. Um, also for bowls, we had a metal one just from our dog. We had another dog and he had passed away and we still had like the extra bowls from him. So I just used one of the metal lightweight bowls un until we got another one. And he would pick that up and literally throw it. So if you think that you're going to keep that bowl forever, you're not. So get a nice glass porcelain bowl because he won't pick that up and, and tip it over. Now, he might be throwing his food all over his thing now. Um, but before, he would tip his bowl over and like have food everywhere. And I was just like, why are you doing this? Um, so that's another thing. And there's also a slide on there he really likes, which you'll see again in the blog post. There's an alligator hammock I made for him, but we, I kind of altered it. I bought something, but it was supposed to just lay on the floor. Um, and I kind of altered it to make it hang. So you'll see all of that information plus more about his cage and everything in the blog post. Um, there will be more detailed prices of everything because I didn't share. Um, everything that I talked about will be listed down below. And that's almost it. I have a couple more things to go over and we will be done. So when he goes to sleep at night, I don't know if chinchillas are nocturnal. I read how like some are and then some aren't. 
Ours is not nocturnal. He goes to sleep at night when we go to sleep, which is crazy. Um, so what we were doing was using a bath towel to just cover over the top of his crate, but it's not big enough for the sides, so you can still kind of see him, and I didn't know if he wanted more privacy or not. So I opted to change it for a blanket, and I just did this the other day, and he slept like a baby. So he really, really likes the blanket. Before, he would kind of be looking at us all night, and I would like see him, and he, I could see him looking at us, but now... He's, and he would move around a lot. Last night I didn't hear him move at all. So, yeah, it was last night. So a blanket is a really nice option. I think they like the blackout effect of it. Um, so definitely opt for that or just something large enough, again, that will cover just the top. You don't want to cover the whole thing when they go to sleep because then they'll just try and sleep everywhere. And I don't know, just have a designated area for them to sleep in, a nice covered area for them to sleep at. And then the way I clean his cage is I will just take our vacuum and then like the little hose part and go around and vacuum up all of the poop now since we have switched it to his like bedding or the fabric bedding. And then I will spray down his little after I like to do this after bath day, I like to spray down his um, shelves. So I have it labeled, it says Quali's Cleaner, but this is just half vinegar and half water. That's all it is because it's a nice natural cleaner and it's super inexpensive. You can buy natural cleaners from Walmart or whatever, but that's like $4 or something, when you can literally just go and buy like a $2 bottle of vinegar and you already have water at home and you're good to go. So that is everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this a thumbs up and I will be doing monthly updates for Kowali. So if you want to see those or if you're excited to see them, let me know in the comments and I will talk to you guys later.